who gave who the idea that Africans live with these lions and they just friends with these, with these animals? No. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Monashe. If you're new, please make sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and click that bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I post. And if you're not new and you're not subscribed, do it! Just do it! Do it, like, come on, please do it. Anyways, guys, today I'm here with an interesting video that I've been thinking about for a really long time, and it's um, about the things or the things that I've been asked or told as an African, specifically Zimbabwean, who is in Spain. So for those of you who don't know, I've been in Spain for almost a year and a half. I've been in Spain for a year and a half. I'm, I'm originally from Zimbabwe, but I'm in college in Spain. So as I've been here, I've received a lot of, I've met a lot of people and I've received a lot of interesting questions if you ask me um, as an African or as a Zimbabwean to be specific and I've, the, the, some of the questions have just been like interesting I've always been like are you really asking me that but they've been quite interesting so today I'm going to be talking about some of the questions or some of the things that I've been told as an African who lives in Spain so the first thing is the first thing that they always ask me when I told them that I'm from Zimbabwe and then they discover that Zimbabwe is in Africa is how did you come here they always ask me how I came here. And I'm like, at first I was confused when I got that question. I was like, what do you mean? How did I come here? Like, what do you mean? And turns out like some of, some of, some of these people think that we don't have airports in Africa. Some of these people think that there are no airplanes in Africa. And it's just like, bro, we're in the 21st century and there's pretty much an airport in each and every country. In Africa, there's airplanes everywhere. I literally, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I literally don't know. So the second one, um, mm -hmm, um, I've got like something that I'm looking at here. So if you see me looking down or whatever, but yeah, the second one that has been really interesting for me has been, how do you know how to speak English? Or they always, they're always like. You speak English so well. I honestly sometimes don't know how to respond to that or react when someone is like, you speak English so well. Because I'm like, I don't know if I should take it as a compliment. Did you not expect me to speak English well or whatever? But like, honestly, if you're educated enough, you would know that there's a good number of African countries that have English as their official language. It's one of their official language. So... Honestly, like if you see an African speaking English, don't be surprised. Yes, there's some countries that don't, that don't speak English, but like a quite number of African countries speak English. We are taught in English from kindergarten up until the last level of education. Like in school, it's always English, English, English. We do have our native languages, but most of the time it's just like in school, it's English. And then usually when we're at home, and at least in my case, like I, I always used to speak in English, be taught in English at school, and then when I went home, I would then speak my native language, which is Shona. So we kind of grow up speaking both languages most of the time. But yeah, like English is not really a problem for most people that are from Africa. So please don't be surprised if you see someone speaking good English and they're from Africa. Uh, on the same issue of languages, I've always, I've also heard people ask me if I speak African and guys, there is no such thing as African. We don't know what African is. Africa consists of 54 or 55, I'm not really sure, countries. And we don't speak one language. There's a lot of language in each and every country. Like in my country, there's languages like Shona, Devele, Venda, Tonga. And there's no such thing as African. Like we don't speak the same language. If I'm going to another, if I'm if I'm to go to another African country, like South Africa or Ghana or Kenya, I wouldn't be able to understand them. Um, the next one is, do you live in huts? Honestly, like whenever I used to hear people say things like, um, people ask me if I live in huts or if I if I live with lions and elephants. I always, I always used to say people exaggerate because why would someone ask such a question? But like. People ask such things. So, yeah, people ask me if I live in arts and no, we don't live in arts. There, there is some people that live in arts, 
that the, um, those are the people that live in the villages but majority of us don't live in arts we live in houses proper houses just like you guys like i don't even know how to explain that we have houses in africa proper houses and also um some people ask if um there's cars if there's electricity if there's wi-fi and things like that yes yes there's definitely cars there's definitely wi-fi there's definitely all these things guys like we are in 2021 things are different things are really different we literally have everything that you guys have we have everything yeah sometimes honestly we have everything i don't even have an explanation and i already mentioned this but um oh yeah about elephants and lions yeah whenever i'm like i'm from zimbabwe people are always like do you live with lions do you live with elephants do you pet lions do you pet elephants no 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 guys if i was to see an, a lion in front of me or an elephant or a cheetah or whatever i would run away like i would literally honestly maybe i wouldn't be able to run away i would like literally just collapse i would that would be the end of me i would have an heart attack because those animals are scary do you guys actually realize that these are wild animals they're scary i don't know i don't know who gave who the idea that africans live with these lions and they just friends with these, with these animals no 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 we don't live with wild animals we don't live with um elephants with lions there is definitely lions in most countries in africa there's definitely elephants there's a lot of wild animals but they're in national parks and whenever we go see them they're always fenced we don't we don't pet we don't pet lions just like you guys we also pet dogs cats and things like that we don't pet lions honestly like i'm sorry to disappoint most of you but no we don't pet lions we don't live with lions we don't do that shit okay and the last thing that i'm gonna talk about is when people ask me why i want to go back to africa so people are always like oh we'll be in a conversation and then i'll be talking about like oh i might like after school i might work here for a certain number of years but like I think I would want to go back to my country. And literally, this is how people react. I'll be like, I want to go back to my country at some point. And they'll be like, why? Like, you got this good opportunity of, of being here, of, of of living here. Why would you want to go back home? And I'm always like, do you realize that? I'm sorry, guys. So I was saying, um, I'm always like, do you actually realize that, first of all, home is always going to be home? Like, if I grow up in Africa, uh, if I grew up in Zimbabwe, I was born in Zimbabwe, grew up in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is always going to be home. Yes, I might have certain things here that I can't really get. In my, honestly, in my case, there's nothing. like It's just the same. But if someone says they want to go back to their country, don't think that they're making an irrational decision. <laughs> Guys, this is a disclaimer. I know there's a lot of people here in Spain that are educated, that know everything, and it's not everyone that has this kind of mindset. But I'm just talking about those that um, do not know. So if you are in Spain and you happen to be watching this video, please don't be offended. Anyways, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it was entertaining, and I just hope that you learned something. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, turn on your post notifications, and do all the good stuff. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.